Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living or retirement having. Well, it's pretty straightforward. You teach your children what is of value to their life. And when you don't teach their children in an intelligent, educated, calm, cool, and collected manner, you prove that you're not intelligent enough to parent one, have one, or have had sex in the first place. Now, I know that seems way harsh because our hormones start raging, we get attracted to people, we think how engaging, but it's not. We've been teaching sex education our entire fucking generation of life the past 50, 60 years, and we still end up with alleged accidental pregnancies. No, you failed to rear your children with what is and isn't propriety. So basically, you failed your child. Congratulations. Your child also failed because they didn't realize the cost of having a child. Because you're not bashing them over with a consent, you're not preparing them for life. You prepare a child for life in the simplest of ways. The child is two or three. You use two to three word sentences. Thank you, mommy. And the child repeats, thank you, mommy. Let's go, honey. And the child learns, let's go. Gotta go potty. Not hard. We're going to the store. They get that. The answer is no. They understand that. Nobody needs to witness you pissing all over your child publicly shouting at a 3, 4 or 10 year old it shows you're an immature parent now the scolding and the rearing of a child and the disciplining of a child is now different but how we do that has to be sort of produced out of research of what is and isn't healthy for a child and something that's healthy for one child may not be healthy for another child and if you haven't learned to regard the differences of your children that you've decided to create from the Lord's house, then you're a fool. God gives every child a calling, and it's your job as a parent to help them discover it. 